Namaste, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Creator Show. Show. And today we have a very special panel here because these are all um, people who have been with us for the past three months while we've been in lockdown and pandemic. Not with us maybe physically all the way through, but um, on screen every single day, spending so much time together uh, because they were part of the Wealth Yogi program. And I know Seb was also helping host it. So I'll start with Seb. You want to do a quick introduction? Yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. Blessed to be here with you guys. Um, so obviously, last couple of months, it's been Wealth Yogi. Been blessed to be training these guys. It's been amazing. Such a privilege watching these guys grow, uh, spiritually, professionally, personally. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that I do. And by the way, this guy has an amazing voice. Thank you very much. <laughs> he hasn't got his guitar with him today, otherwise he'll... <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't <laughs> normally do. But yeah. and, then, and then moving um, uh, to the right, we have Lainey. Hello, namaste everybody. This is Lainey. I came all the way from Portland, Oregon, USA. Oregon, and that's where Osho was. That's right. <laughs> 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 so, um, yeah, following Osho's um, footstep. No, just <laughs> 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 I used to uh, live you, in the you're east. You're building a new cult. <laughs> <laughs> we never, we don't know yet. Were you there during that time? <laughs> we don't know yet. No. Um, that was uh, many do I look ago, that? Huh? <laughs> no, no, I can't remember how many years ago it was actually. There was. Uh, was quite some time ago. And but do people still talk about it today? Yes. In Oregon? Yes. Oh, wow. People talk about it, but they don't really know who was the leader. They're just like, there's this cult and then people can do this and that oh, wow. in the middle of a... Have, have you watched power. it, Wild Wild Country? Not yet. Um, oh, it's on my list. You should so watch it. Kayana <laughs> told me about Watching it, it whilst there. Yeah. <laughs> be awesome. Yeah. So, and actually, I was from the East Coast, um, originally from Taiwan. Hello, Taiwanese. Anybody <laughs> here? Oh. And I uh, moved to US when I was 17. I've been there for like, you know... I don't want to reveal my age. <laughs> 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 For two ten, years. Ten plus years. <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and what is it you do, Lainey? Let everybody know. Um, I, was, uh, I was a designer. I was an architect. And I'm moving on to designing my products and around my uh, e-commerce store on Amazon. And now I'm moving forward to be an Amazon consultant Beautiful. and collaborating wow. with people in the e-commerce world. Beautiful. Yeah. And then moving on to her right, we have Zenobia. Yes, my name is Zenobia. You can also call me Zen on my good days. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, I'm uh, so happy to be here today. Thank you for having me here, everybody in the team. Yeah. She, she was. Did you watch her graduation? Oh, mm. yeah. You were there at graduation. That was special. Something. Mm either possessed you or <laughs> what was, uh, like i felt like i was uh what's it called a night at the apollo is that yeah, yeah 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 it felt like that no 100%. i was just laughing from the beginning all the way to the end and i was like what was going on mm. yeah oh thank you that was incredible giving me the opportunity to learn how to do that on a stage versus just for my family and friends and <laughs> uber drivers so, so, <laughs> so you would, would would you would you say zen that you always uh, you've always been like uh, funny <laughs> uh, I, I would say that I've always thrown myself out there in attempts to be funny. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. But uh, I, I think that for me it was finding a way to bridge the energies in the room um, or to make people smile or to just shift things. And did, did you prepare that, that piece humor. that you did at graduation? Um, so I just knew that I was going to make the round table joke. And then uh, I just thought about the message I wanted c to convey, which was I wanted everybody there to understand that it, what it took to, to get up there and have confidence and to feel inspired and feel like they could do it. And that was what yeah. I wanted to convey. So it wasn't the, the jokes weren't planned then? No, no, uh, no. Well, certainly that was really the, good in flow, right? Because the when you. one with the mic. For, for <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because when, it's you see, like when you see. <laughs> Com comedy acts they actually they, they, they script the whole thing yeah, every, yeah. every time you see it it's the same thing right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that was just in flow except for the awkward part <laughs> <laughs> T tell us about the awkward part uh, well I, I, um, I it's a line I borrow from myself for many years at this point but um, I've just been awkward so much that it's not actually awkward anymore for me <laughs> it can still be awkward for others do you, do you feel like do you feel like <laughs> do you feel like you've been there uh, uh, like w w when when you were in, in your upbringing as a child were you always different oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> zero hesitation there <laughs> and, so, and so was it was it 
uh, as a result of that, was it was it difficult? Would you say? Yeah. Well, I was so so painfully quiet and shy as a child that um, I was told that I didn't even ask the kindergarten teacher if I could use the bathroom. I just would stand up and walk over silently and wait till she guessed. I don't Aww. have this recollection. I can just look back and be like, "It's okay, little Zen." <laughs> <laughs> Got this. Oh wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, and and has it been like recent years where you felt more what you you, you found a way to communicate better or, or, or what what would you say it was? Well, I would say I've anyone who's witnessed my art too that I've been searching for ways to communicate more than I've been able to encapsulate in words. And I mm. feel like that's an art form that I have delved into with some of my poetry and I've certainly written a lot. And um I think I might write a book now. My mom sent me a challenge for the month, and I was like, oh, Master Shri Akarshana would make it less than a month. <laughs> 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 One day, go. <laughs> yeah. So who was your friend? Who was like, your best friend? What is like your go-to if you feel like it's hard to connect with normal <laughs> settings? <laughs> uh, uh, art and art. music. Because when, no when you sing and everything, like, you'd never know. Because... Like, yeah, you just—it's like a default. It's right? like yeah. that, isn't it? You get you—you you find a lot of characters like that, like characters mm. which is like, um, like when when it comes to uh, the normal human social, it's kind of like, oh, I, I'm not sure I'm very good at that. But then the moment it gets into creative flow, the energy is kind of just used yeah. as a vessel, and everything yeah. just—it just is amazing, isn't it? I was mm. very much like that. Like in mm. school, I, I would cry if somebody said hello to me. <laughs> I was that—I was that kid. <laughs> You know? That's really weird, right? But so then, like, give me I, a I guitar. Was as well. I'm, I'm predicting that she's not. <laughs> yeah, I agree. No, I was really very quiet. Too. Really? I was the quietest child. My mom thought no I was, way. like, so easy to take care of. She so told me, sit here. You like here. to talk now. I like to talk now because I kind of force <laughs> myself to get into, to fit in. Wow. I have that stage. I realize I need to do that to fit in. But I was super quiet. And I don't have a smile. I actually still have a portrait of myself. Um, haunt at home and that literally represent who I was and reminded me wow. of who I was yeah yeah I don't talk my mom said you just sit there I would just sit there and wait till she come back yeah, so we there. know this is the introvert show today yeah huh? <laughs> <laughs> so how did how did we all break out huh? Seb how did you break out music for sure mm. yeah I remember hey, you perform on stage and stuff you do gigs yeah that's yeah. so the first times must have freaked you out oh the first time I cried like a baby <laughs> oh, you're cr actually crying yeah that was yeah well, on stage or before everywhere. Before stage, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up crying like when I knew it was that day. Yeah. Everything. Um, the first time was really scary. Really, really scary. But it's like you say, like, I, I, re I really wanted to do that. Like, I could live without talking to people, right? Kind of, maybe. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't live without playing the guitar and singing. Like, I knew th I wanted to do that more than I was afraid, I guess. Mm -hmm. So after the first, I don't know, bazillion times, like, you start to get over it. Um, and now, like, yeah, that's just like a default. Like, give me a guitar and a thing. Like, yeah, I'll I'll sing in front of how many people you want, you know. But 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 then, but then singing then is still that's still in the flow of that energy. What yeah. But what about now? Because I see you socializing very well with people now. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, still, sometimes a little bit awkward, like inside. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretend to be confident. Yeah, yeah. But that's the deal, right? Yeah. That oh, is, for sure. And I think it transfers from like, I've, I've learned that from stage, you know, from like singing. Yeah. So like, I just pretend that I have a guitar. <laughs> I remember the first time anyone asked me to speak with like a microphone or something. I was like, where's my guitar? <laughs> you know, like I felt like I was naked without it. You know what I mean? So that was like my safety net. So it's like, it's like oh my God, they're seeing my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> they see me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They usually I have a protection here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like safety net, comfy blanket sort of thing, you know? Mm. Uh, but yeah, I guess I just take inspiration from that i guess because uh, if you can do it there you can do it somewhere else right it's all the same so it's just Lainey, practice how did you break out um i think it was through school of architecture because mm. you, you growing up i can just draw overnight and feel happy all by myself and isn't this interesting that it's all through creativity huh mm. yeah but it was like forcing because it's like if i want to get an a in my course i want to be able i have to be able to sell my project you know, I can build this model and all this drawing and present it here. People are going to just like, so what this is about. But you kind of need to be able to deliver your thesis. What's your idea? And convince them. So that's the sales. I wish I had a master's course back then. I probably <laughs> made <A++>. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. but, but I learned the same way. That was, that was with me also. Yeah. It was exactly the same. So yeah. it's like shy, 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 shy. Until I had a noodle bar franchise. And it's like, uh. you can't. You, you can't, can't be shy grow a franchise without speaking to some people and, mm -hmm. and, and selling the franchise, you see. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing. 
and it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's still hard for me though. I sometimes feel like, how did Van Gogh did it? He just quiet, and then his art just sold. Can yeah. I just be Wh- Van Gogh? which part are you referring to? Is that it's hard? Huh? Um, just like I have to be able to sell myself to deliver my idea. I mean, we can draw whatever we want, and <coughs> the 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 serious uh the sequence of the thought behind it is a, a lot more than just what people see but sometimes you have to understand the concept in order to grasp the power of that piece of artwork or poem or music so you need to be able to deliver it's not if i say sell sounds a little shallow uh. but kind of be able to get people to understand what's the big scheme behind your to work to communicate effectively it's to com- yeah. yeah to communicate effectively but and actually i think you're pretty good at that Oh. I remember the, fir- the first meeting when we did that Amazon meeting. I was like, oh, oh my God, this person like, really knows what she's talking about. I, I felt Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I do know what I was talking about. When I do know, I'm just like, bang, bang, bang. But when I start doubting myself. Maybe, mm. maybe, maybe, it's, like, like, maybe it's like actually in, in skill set, yeah. it's actually progressed to that thing. Yeah. But then mindset is still thinking back when I was not so confident. It's, it looks yeah. like that because yeah. to us, you're extremely confident. I became a little girl very often and all of a sudden too i would just want to hide myself under umbrella you would never know thank you you wouldn't know would you you'd never know you never know no okay i live with her i can't answer that <laughs> <laughs> but but what but do you know about z- me but then it, but but then actually in public is different mm. like you are different yeah the way you uh communicate is different and right now, t- today, I mean, you, you, can, you, can, you can make a joke out of it. You can understand that you're different. You come to acceptance. It looks like that, okay, I am mm. different. And then you find your power within that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's what it seems like. I, I think there was just a lot of years I didn't necessarily know. Like here when I arrived, I was just witnessing a lot, but didn't know how to step in and be witnessed. And and that was an interesting thing to look back at, like s- some of the narratives in my own mind um, to sort of work past for that. Um, I um, I was thinking when when Seb said uh, like removing the guitar. I remember that when I they took you know you take away the piano. I was like, what do I do with my arms? That's a that's a very real thing. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I've had that problem before. <laughs> Never been more aware that you've got arms. Like, have you ever consciously thought, I've got mm. arms, what do these do? <laughs> what do I do with these right now? It's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's that's like me on stage. It's like if, mm. I, if uh, yeah, it's or, or off stage even. Yeah, when I'm having a conversation and I'm not selling anything, I'm like, what? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? This is this is no point in this thing. Like, what, what's That's the point in this conversation? What are we selling right now? Hey? <laughs> you say if you're on a stage and if you're not selling anything, I was like, what are we selling right now? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's kind of like hmm, you get this uh, something missing. It's like, hey, mm. Mm, need, need need some sort of. Uh, uh, I think that the the idea of selling is not so much about. Um, it's not so much about money making is more to do with hey then the output the there is a return there is a there's a reason yeah mm. the intention intention yeah. in, in in the same sense that people can hang out and talk about nothing and i can't <laughs> i think that's part of what it was for me is that mm. I, you can or you can't no I, I need if i wanted to talk about something it was going to be something it needs to get somewhere or it wanted mm-hmm. to be in a flow in a creative flow yeah mm. and so that that was a challenge for me to come out of that and find how to fit in the conversation. So to do that, it seemed better to just be a little more awkward and funny about it. Find my way that way. But because the average, the average conversation doesn't talk about anything. Right? <laughs> no, no, but you don't That's realize true. that. When, when you're in it, along that journey, you don't realize it. I think when you come, come out of it and you start becoming more awake and more conscious, and then you only start talking about, let's say, positive or productive or empowering things, you can be literally going to a, a coffee shop today and then you'll be hearing somebody just talk next to you and you'll be like, what, what's the point? Like, what are they talking? Mm. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, thank you. How are you? Wow, okay, that's amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah, uh-huh. the weather's really great today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, at the end of it, you're like, what was the point? Like, Connection. Yeah. Feel like I'm connected yeah. with someone. 
I think it's just default though. Me and, and Val were talking about that earlier, though. It's but, just like but, but defaults. people do this, and, and a lot of people like I, I get this question a lot from from and, and, and they've stopped now because I because I say this. Is <laughs> people when 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 let's say in the morning, the first thing people will say they they look at you, they say ah hi, I say how are you? Like I'm great, and they say how did you sleep? Uh, was how, did you sleep well? And then when they ask, did you sleep well? And then they're not, they're not, they're not really listening to, did you sleep well? Because at the end of the day, if you say, I, yes, I did, like, great. No, I didn't. Oh, too bad. Is that, <laughs> what, what, like, is, there's not reason. It's not like you really want, do you really want to know that I sleep well? I mean, what are you going to do about it? Like, well, yeah. what, where does this conversation lead? In? But it's what you're talking about. It's default, right? Yeah. Mm. It's kind of like, oh, it's awkward to be silent. This is the interesting thing. This is when peop- the average person thinks it's awkward to be silent. Mm-hmm. Where then somebody like Zen, who is witnessing or not needing to indulge in uh, no purpose conversations, will then become the, oh, she's odd. Yep. Mm. Which is interesting, right? Because it's just how society has conformed us to understand, oh, that, that, that seems to be normal and this seems to be not normal. So then that becomes weird. Mm. But now consciousness is saying, hey, this is... <coughs> spectacular right <laughs> it's like totally it's like yeah. a different level of awareness also like social condition sometimes comes to like we cannot be too honest with each other you know like i remember <laughs> i i can tell she's one of those she, you <laughs> just say it how it is isn't it? Per- yeah. yes and then, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then you upset people yes. <laughs> you're like why are you upset because <laughs> I'm, I'm your best friend and i want to tell you the truth <laughs> and then if i'm not telling you the truth i'm being fake and i'm not genuine and why can you tell me the truth because i want to be a better version of myself uh, yeah. and that's when i became awkward in a social <laughs> setting when you, when you start hurting everybody <laughs> <laughs> when you say something and they go huh oh, <laughs> what do you say uh, did Lainey really just say that <laughs> yeah that happens a lot with me i've wondered about sometimes because i think that i'm witnessing somebody where they are and that it's not like it, it depends if it's something that's like in a moment or we're having a discussion and it seems like you would want to have my perspective on something but otherwise um, it, it's um, I have been grateful to have not been called out on things and then I've always been sort of the seeker I'll go I'll, and just quiet so I go home and I draw and I think and I, I'm like ah oh, that w- oh, I said that ah oh, and then I had to work through was that embarrassing and then I had to work through a gratitude that that person just let me learn you know, just let, didn't, didn't call it, you know, wasn't, and that was a grace that I was offered. And then that's a grace that I feel like I can offer other people. Just to let them be. <laughs> so, so your one is letting Sometimes. them be. Lainey's is just tell them what it is. But, but it's not always, that I don't think that that's always the way to go because <laughs> I think that there is a balance. Uh-huh. There's a balance. I think that yeah. sometimes sure. um, you need to be the person that might be like, no, this, <laughs> you're too far into an illusion and you're not allowing enough of reality into it. And so now it's upset, it's hurt, it's if it's harming somebody. So, so where, where do you guys feel that line is then? Oh, it's different I every time, I observe right? certain person, like I know this person won't be able to take that kind of. So whether, whether they're strong enough to be yeah. attacked, yeah. <laughs> then you go in hard. Yeah, but the first time attacked. I usually try to be the gentle, everybody likes to hear great, positive words around them right the praises and all my stuff and to be a better person next but if i knew that you know the personality afterwards i will I so will the see better that, you know somebody yeah i will see what situation was and make that judgment yeah, i think usually people are often showing us who they are yeah whether we're paying attention to it or not and i got myself in some interest i drove myself into some interesting storylines by um sort of uh, th- throwing out a, a large benefit of the doubt because you think if somebody does this, that must mean they wouldn't do this. Well, they wouldn't do this on purpose. They wouldn't do I'll just try a different way of talking with them. I'll try, th- I'll try this other. And, <clears throat> and I've recognized, um, too, that sometimes you're communicating in a sort of an, an area where it can't be heard. So I have a song <laughs> called The Song I Never Wrote. Hmm. And it has a, a <clears throat> this is the song I never wrote. These are the words I never spoke. This is what I was too shy to show. And it's time you knew. 
And it, so it goes on like that. Like She's incredible, no? Right? Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> because sometimes no matter what kind of red carpet you roll out for someone to try and display your meaning, how much poetry, music, song, flowers, jokes, like, look at me, I've just put myself up for this. <laughs> it doesn't, if it's not coming across, you might need to walk away and find a new audience. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> That's how I found my way here, kids. <laughs> I just kept being like, and a side step, and another side step. That's sort of like when you get through life a little bit. Mm. I felt like I went, and not this way. <laughs> not this way. Woo! Back it up this way, you know. And then you're like, I guess I made a path. <laughs> and then I suppose now I have to just show every set a light on it so I can share my wisdom with people and. Suck up my pride. Here we go. You know, <laughs> yeah. I was a genius the whole time. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love that. that <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me now? <laughs> How do you deal with it? Write a song? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be really prolific when I was younger, so maybe I used to do that a lot. Now I don't. <laughs> so I don't know what that says about me. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> perfect example. <laughs> perfect example <laughs> for introverts. <laughs> Lenny? Uh, I thought I already sure. Um, um. You know what we were saying about like you. <laughs> sometimes you feel the need to fill the silence, right? <laughs> I never feel that <laughs> because it's nice I to know, just appreciate. But not on the podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not not filling the side, <laughs> not filling the silence in the it's podcast. It's in the words. It's in the words that you don't say, right? <laughs> not in the words that you do. Hopefully, like the <laughs> listeners will be able to appreciate <laughs> what this sense this of humor show is about. <laughs> Lady steep in thought, you see. I was just thinking. I, I know there are people, lots of people out there, like really want to fill in every single bag, uh, gap or like pause. Like people just don't stop, and you know, people mm. around me like that. But that's really, really tiring, no? Drains your energies, and then literally when you go home, you don't even know what you're talking about the whole time. And you just feel I need to take a nap, you know, after dinner, and you want to go to bed. <laughs> so, like, I want people, like everybody, to understand that you don't have to to fill up every single pad. Sometimes just like a painting, you know. But but you do on a podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> today's you lesson. To fill in the gap. Well, that's why I keep talking. <laughs> Seb is like, <laughs> stop. Yeah. I'm just like, let's talk about it's okay and let's honor that that pause. When you are not on the not on podcast, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is why it depends on the circumstance, right? Yeah, it depends on the situation, the people. Mm -hmm. Generally, that's yeah, <laughs> a, a general good shifter. Of, of I I think this is, I think situation. this is actually very good because I think there's a lot of there's a lot of introverts, shy people, awkward people, people who feel like they can't connect with people out there. What would your advice be? Or this goes to all of you. Is like, what would your advice be to people who are feeling that right now? Mm. They're feeling different. They feel like people don't understand that. They feel like they I can't. This first? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, kids. All right, <laughs> fellow beautiful beings. Um, coming into this human existence is difficult on its no own. Snown. It's such difficult on its snown. <laughs> and. <laughs> It takes a lot of energy to speak correctly, let alone uh, figure out how to work this thing. Like I made the joke the other day that I wasn't planned to, about putting my hand in the coat. Mm. Uh, and another one is just like watching my nephews learn to walk. You know, one of them like is like, goes running into a gate. And I like to think of that little video when I'm like, this day is, this day is me running into a metaphorical gate because I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I would say that everyone's still learning. They may just have their style and poise on and to <clears throat> not try to not let that stop you. Um, for me, um, I, I wish it didn't stop me for as long as I did. I think that I had a lot to add and a voice to add. I had so much music I was been making over the years and I didn't release it. There's that Sometimes uh, that perfectionist is actually your worst enemy, uh, and people are going to think what they're going to think, but you are exactly where you are, and exactly where you are is perfectly okay. It can't be nothing but okay, because we are all part of, a of like a greater energy reflecting itself. It's 
divine. It's beautiful, uh, and so you you can't necessarily um, don't don't let other people's opinions about how they found their way through this journey stop you from finding your way through yours, and that's one of the biggest things I wish to convey. Um, I think that I could have done a lot more good in the world if I showed up for myself earlier. Mm. And then I just, um, I don't, America Mand almost dying, but <laughs> that is what happened to me <laughs> last year. <laughs> it was a, a long-term exposure to black mold. Um, I don't really mess with you. So don't do that either, kids. If you're in mm. an environment that's not good for you, your environment is sort of key. I was doing all the meditations. I was eating healthier, no drinking this water, doing that. And I was like, I could feel, because I was sick, I could feel the, uh, uh, the depth or difference that each of those things had. But it wasn't until I wasn't breathing something that was harming me. that. Um, but I didn't get out of it until I got to <clears throat> have an interesting near-death experience. I'll save that for a more crazy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah sort of um i i i'm filling space now <laughs> but I'll say that i think that's your cue yeah. cut. <laughs> can you imagine if the show just ended there that'd be brilliant cliffhanger um well i think the introvert in me would say look for introverts self-proclaimed it's gonna be okay uh, pick up a guitar pick up a piano <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll, I'll pick up a piano that'd be a sight <laughs> yeah. how strong are you <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. but yeah um i agree with so much what, with what you were saying zen uh lost me a little bit at the end but you know <laughs> i think they'll be uh re-watching the last couple of minutes over and over and over again <laughs> yeah to figure out what was the what is the Let's message find the penny drop moment in there <laughs> that's your challenge for today <laughs> um yeah no i think I th yeah for, for me it, it was definitely creativity was the thing that allowed me to you know as we've all kind of said, touched on, you know, so... But do what it, those people who can't pick up guitars or pianos? Right, exactly. And you got to just keep searching for what it is, you know? Just try everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, just, I think it's simple, I think right? It's, I think it's uh, more acting... Although fear is there, just do it anyway, right? Right, exactly. Again, out of comfort. Yeah, because yeah, if you keep trying different things, you'll find something eventually that you do latch onto. Like for me, it was music or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. And it just pulls you past the fear because you're like, I love this so much. I'm just going to, you know, I was going to... Maybe it's like a reason why. What do you think? Like, like, like having a, a purpose behind it because you because your why is big. That you you love music so much, you gotta push out. Yeah, right? exactly. So yeah. I think it's more a reason why. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. 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 So but I just keep searching until I can you find with that it. Because, you know? because I feel like I didn't pick up a guitar or a piano for it, but I felt like it was a reason. Mm. I needed to get something out there, and I had no choice. And my reason was big enough, so I had to push myself to speak in front of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. but it might take more than one go to get there my you know, reason so just got don't. bigger than my what was your reason for me oh, to spread message of music um, or positive message well I, I started to witness that my music was helping and was healing and I started to honor well what those frequencies and things can actually do and mm -hmm. um, it, it helped that I started to actually be able to visualize more of that stuff um, and I started to ignore the naysayers. I started to no longer allow other people's viewpoints like, oh, well, you just want to tent. No, I'm not doing this for tent. I'm sh like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do think it's that funny, right? That's how people are. Yeah. You're just doing it for attention. It's like, you know, it's so much easier not doing it for attention, <laughs> right? I think people don't understand. You get that. less attention oh, yeah. when you're not on a stage in front of thousands of people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I would add that um, each of us are working towards something. So mm -hmm. if it, you feel awkward, that's fine. I don't know any of some of the I mean, the greatest people that I've met, and I've met so so many beautiful souls that haven't felt awkward or joked about being socially awkward or like I walk in the club like bye, never mind, I have social anxiety. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, there's just so much of that out there. So you're not alone. Do you know one of the most successful people in the world right now? Elon Musk. Have you heard him in interviews before? He's awkward. Yeah. Like, yeah. very awkward. Mm -hmm. But look what he's doing. Totally. I think that, that, 
that awkward i think when we say awkward in for humans it's kind of like it's weird it's awkward it's different mm -hmm. but in in a different perspective it's kind of like different is good different is there's individuality that's they think differently why would you want to think average why wouldn't you why would you want to be part of the normal people which is everybody's just conformed to being sheep and following each other's rules yeah. you know that's how i see it yeah Lainey, what's your advice for people wanting um, to break out of I th I think even those people who are in the, the most popular person in the room today, they also felt awkward at some point being themselves. So just know that everybody felt that, have the insecurity or um, like a lot of CEO in this world some, right now, they feel imposter symptoms. You know, they don't feel good enough. So it's naturally in us. You have to recognize that first. And then second is you need to celebrate yourself. If you're not being your biggest cheerleader, who is going to cheer for you? So you got to cheer like for yourself. Nice. Yes. And embrace that because you can see there's so many greats out there that just represent different unique personality. And why they are, why they are successful? Because they are different. So you need to celebrate different color, different culture, and just own that. And on top of that, if you, you equip yourself, you know, like, and to equip yourself, like me, I, there's lots of things I don't know how to do growing up. And to be able to influence, bring impact to the world, however you want to do, you know, maybe runs a food truck or whatever in New York City or whatever, you, you got to go learn that skill to, to you, so you're not going to naturally own that skill to do whatever you want to do. And so, also that it's an uncomfortable when you're learning something new. Definitely. Yeah, for them to accept that it's going to be uncomfortable. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, regardless, you're going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> so you just have to do it. You just have to jump off a cliff and... Don't tell them to jump off a cliff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> did this Walk not, did not come from cliff. our channel, by the way. <laughs> Nobody told you to jump off any cliff. <laughs> and glide down. That's what I mean. <laughs> so walk along a cliff. And that's when walk I... Walk along a cliff. <laughs> Don't walk cl too close to the edge either. Right? <laughs> this is, let's say, Lainey <laughs> told me to do this. <laughs> not in, in, in the actual physical thing I'm talking about. Like, you know, the whether you want to do a business <laughs> or you want to do something. Because that's when you gain the most. And then once you get through it, whether you fail or whether you actually got through it, you're going to learn so much. There's no failing. Only There's learning. no failing. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. Along so. the metaphor of walking a cliff, it made me think of finding your edges. Mm. Uh, and if you continue looking at all your edges, whether it's something you don't like about yourself or something you can learn to love about yourself, that by learning that, that really allows you to see when somebody else is putting a line in the sand and mm. it's not actually you, it doesn't mm. represent where you are it actually is um, uh, the opportunity for you to either allow them to just, <laughs> depending on how involved you are at that point as well. So yeah. to know oneself is um, something else that you can gift the world and gift yourself because you then, and don't, um, try not to waste too much time trying to prove, prove who you are to anyone. Yeah, or try to mimic other people's you know, journey. You it's know, good to be different. Your, yeah, it's yeah. good to be different. Celebrate it. And then once you did that, you will celebrate find Celebrate by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the intro you once were and celebrate it. Celebration. <laughs> Others is not going to celebrate with you. You know, you're going to find a lot of great thing about yourself once you like have that strength to live through that life. You want to draw, paint, just like, you know, then, then you'll bring the like-minded people join you along the journey. Well, you know? the good thing is you guys have all four of us that are with you along this journey <laughs> because all four of us are equally as awkward as any <laughs> awkward person could be out there. So <laughs> hope you guys got some value out of today's show. Um, first of all, thank you for our guests. Thank you for being here. And thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this show, if you got any value from it whatsoever, or maybe you can relate to some other topics, please do hit the like button and comment below. Let us know your story. Let us know what you guys are going through. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it that's a little bell sign by the way because we're dedicated to making weekly videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet but for now guys we're signing out <laughs> namaste namaste <laughs>